Hi, my name is Tim Rubin. I'm the board chair for Junior Achievement of South Florida. I hope that you and your loved ones are staying healthy and safe. In times of crisis, we all look for leadership and inspiration. This by far has been the most difficult time I have ever experienced as a leader and it has challenged my emotional intelligence daily. One thing that has eased my burden has been the diverse group of leaders that I sit shoulder to shoulder with as advocates for this great organization. I wanna share with you a lesson that I've learned from the crisis. Junior Achievement's mission is to educate children about financial literacy. Thankfully, the leadership of this organization has been focused on leading by example. My predecessors never imagined a time when the entire world would simultaneously shut down. However, they knew the importance of being fiscally responsible and preparing for uncertainties. Under the leadership of our CEO, Lori Salarulo, the management team worked diligently to keep the overhead low and manage a lean budget. She was also tasked with building financial reserves for unknown contingencies. These simple but necessary financial goals gave me confidence in the early days of the outbreak that we could survive a catastrophic change in our business. During moments of panic and fear, I turned to one of the first business lessons I learned, focus on the controllable. And that's exactly what Junior Achievement of South Florida has done. The executive committee, finance committee, and management team have met weekly since the outbreak of the virus. We have evaluated the cash projections of the organization and our strategies continue to be updated and revised weekly as new information becomes available. We have respectfully debated the needs of the organization with input from some of the most talented business leaders in our community. And the management team is also using this situation to explore innovative opportunities. I'm so proud to be part of such a healthy, high-performing, innovative group of leaders. And I know the success and stability of Junior Achievement of South Florida is a direct reflection of the diverse leaders that passionately give their time and resources for the betterment of this organization. We will all get through the challenges facing us over the next few weeks and months. Until we get back to some normalcy, know that the board and staff are living the mission and setting a positive example for fiscal responsibility. We have never been more committed to preparing our youth for financial stability and prosperity. Thank you to all those who make our mission possible.